So welcome back to the podcast. Uh, yeah, welcome. I back. think yeah, I think this will welcome. be the first episode. Of yeah, actually, yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome to the podcast. Hello, hi. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm the central sounds of Kaz. Ew. <laughs> and uh, I'm the disgusting voice of Tony. And that makes me Maverick. How you doing? Maggot. Uh, okay, so that's us. Uh. Our, this podcast, kind of a mission statement about it really quick, is that it's just going to be a free-flowing thing, just another way to get content out on our channel yeah. and describe things and just talk about <laughs> stuff that you can't always talk about in Let's Plays. Hooray! I'm just going to be the hype man when you talk. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> I have a hype man. Uh, Maybe like DMX. Yeah. But this episode, we were just going to really... This is pretty much a spoiler cast. For, uh-huh. uh, spoilers! Spoilers! spoilers. For uh, Rogue One, if you haven't seen it, uh, uh, we're speaking about it now. Holy Rogue Info. Fuck, dude. So turn this off if you haven't seen yeah, the it. Yeah, spo- um, whoever's editing this, spoiler, flash, Han Solo uh, dies. flash a spoiler alert right now. And if you haven't seen jo- Rogue Joey, One, flash a spoiler why alert not? right now. No, it'll be me. Okay, Nick, flash a spoiler alert. Um, If, if you guys haven't seen, okay, a spoiler alert for a lot of things. If Also, if you haven't seen uh The Force Awakens, flash a spoiler alert with Han Solo being stabbed. <laughs> There Thank you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Also, Darth Vader's Luke Skywalker's dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for, yeah. Okay, yeah. If you haven't seen that, then get the fuck Darth out of my Maul face. Darth Maul gets cut in half. Don't. I don't hey, those, those are troublesome times when I was a kid. Carrie Fisher dies. <laughs> oh. oh. I care more about Darth Ooh. Maul. Dude, no. I, was, I was so fucking upset. That was... Uh, oh, my God. That dude. was pretty random. No, she had a heart attack a, a week ago. Well, her mom she had put a heart out attack a public statement. Fine. A few hours ago, saying, "Yeah, she's cool. She's stable. She's fine." Yeah, and a few hours later, she died. She, she fucking died. What so, the fuck? I don't know. I haven't read yeah. up into it. But, Illuminati. Uh, That's yeah. my. Theory. I'm telling you, dude. No, because she was like feminism, and I was like, "Hell yeah!" Because she's pretty cool about that. And the Illuminati didn't like that at all. They were like, well, I'm "I not don't having like it." That. So this podcast is a disaster <laughs> already. A all right. fucking disaster. All right, put us back on track. So okay, this movie. I oh was my God. I was very concerned about this movie going into it that yeah. going back into the original trilogy and kind of like original Star Wars Star Wars this would be a big kind of money grab kind of almost what the Force Awakens did a little bit just like ooh look at all this old stuff yeah, kind of like cool shit. nostalgic nostalgia thing, but weird cameos it is not that at all no I mean this God, is no. I believe I think it's a fantastic film not just a fantastic Star Wars film but just a really good movie. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. Like, cause I went in there as like, oh, it's just the Star Wars story. I was like, where the fuck is? Where's the scrolling text? I'm, and you're like, no, cause it's a Star Wars story. It's not a Star Wars movie. I went, all right, I'll let it go. That's a big uh, point now. of controversy. There are a bunch of people I was who pissed. upset. I was like, I was very so, upset. So you're upset with no scrolling? Text? I was very upset because I was sitting there. I was like, cause I see a long time ago, and I'm like shaking in my seat, and there's nothing. I went, see, I think oh, it's right in the though, movie because okay. this is. It's a spin-off movie in a way. It's a filler yeah. movie, so But it was so good. I, it, and that doesn't fit its dark tone if the no. big words came no. in, you know. But what if the words were darker? But we thought no, but we <laughs> thought cuz like even yellow. me and you had the same idea of like they're flying were they above or below the rings? And they I were was, flying like, above a ring. And I was like, yeah. "Oh, that's I it. thought that was like metaphor like yeah. a s- symbolic like we're flying above the words." I was like, yeah. "We're going but, beyond this cuz it was a bad idea." I didn't say that. Yeah. But Oh my it's not God. the best way to uh, present exposition. Like, again, I went in there. They, I like the idea of uh, like they were there to steal the like the Death yeah. Star plans, but they ended up stealing my heart. Oh, oh then they got so too. Hey, Shut the fuck! Don't bring that shit up. <laughs> but the thing about this movie I that I hate that I truly I think the favorite my favorite thing about this film is that it makes a new hope even better of a ah, movie. Yes. So it shows the importance. Yeah. Of it, everything like. Like, Luke blowing up the Death Star finishes the story of Jen Erso, in exactly. a way. It completes yes. her fulfillment and her father's fulfillment. And it, it's, yeah, it's this weird way of finishing off the story that I think is really important and really cool, in a way. I left a singular point on the Death Star that'll destroy <laughs> the whole thing. Oh, it's a tiny hole. It's an itty-bitty hole. Make sure you hit it. No one else noticed this? <laughs> yeah. How does no one else? It's, it's just an exhaust valve. No, it's not. How the fuck do you get a prototype guess, of like, you go in that fucking thing? Exhaust valves But if you look suck. at it, because the, so- the thing that really surprised me is I was not expecting Rogue One to end at the beginning. I know. Oh, my God. 
Oh, so, yeah. like, they didn't have any time to inspect the Death Star. It was kind of like... It's kind of like, oh, oh, I did the... Done. All right. Like, the Death Star, getting the plans and blowing it up must have happened within, like, oh, a few weeks, right? If not even, like, I just like they're like, all right, here's days. the plan. Oh, thank God. All right, let's go. Yeah. I mean, because, like, you wouldn't want to waste any time on that shit. Cause, yeah. Because, you know, it destroys planets. Yeah. Because, like, I-, I love the whole thing of, like, oh, I watched Alderaan explode. Yeah. And it was like, all right, it's over. Okay. Yeah. But no, and then in the new movie, when they show it doing like a quarter of the power, yeah. hitting a city and nuking the fucking thing, I was like, ooh. Oh. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, watching the Death Star work in this movie uh, makes it much more impactful in uh, A New Hope. Mm. Like watching Alderaan blow up is like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, oh my fucking God. Because like, you have the visuals from Rogue One of like what happens. It's like, the, oh God. The nuke that literally Those people are dead. shoots through the ground and pushes the ground up and just. Yeah. Oh, it just evaporates everybody. My yeah. only problem with that is I feel like some a lot of the people who do the science behind crap stuff like that might have a few weird issues with that. Don't suck my dick. It's yeah. a fucking space laser that blows up planets. I, I don't care if the science it. are not accurate. Yeah. No. Yeah, like it's a I like, yeah, I like science math. I'm not gonna go into it. Like, show me the math behind. Oh yeah, what are we gonna compare me shooting a fucking laser to planet and blowing it up to? They called it the Death Star. I don't think they really like... It's not the math star. All stars yeah. have the heart of Kyber. And I'm like, fuck yeah, they do. Because it shoots lasers. I, I just thought it was oh, weird how fuck. slow the wave of land came at people. Yeah. yeah. I feel, eh. I feel like that's a lot not... of land to move. Yeah. <laughs> great mass. You're probably right. That's a lot of mass to move. In but like anyways, a yeah. Seconds. So... Oh, my God. So, yeah. I mean, myself. we all like the movie. We're big Star Wars fans. This... This podcast could always be a weekly Star Wars podcast. Oh my god, for real! I could, but uh, fu- like, oh, it's so really cool. I work retail, and uh, I was, I was doing cashier stuff, and I'm checking people out, and I hear these two dudes, and they're talking. They have no idea who each other are, but one of them wearing a Star Wars shirt, and I hear, "New Darth Vader," and I go, "Ha!" Ah! <laughs> like, like my manager saw me get physically excited as the guy walks up, and I was like, "Is he guys talking about Rogue One?" And they went, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh," because they. Oh my god! Because they they gave like literally all the way through the movie they gave Darth Vader the shit. Oh yeah, they made him so much better than they made him in every other movie. Yeah, Darth Vader in this movie is wonderful. I like, not to choke on your I've, ambitions. I was like, oh, I've gross. seen. I saw the movie three times, and yeah, it's, it was worth you. my whatever, like fifteen dollars every time just to watch the last five minutes of the movie. Oh, he fucking. The end. Uh, I love the end of this movie. Fucking pushes the dude against the ceiling. It's a great cuts him open. Yeah, it's like, a great Jesus, uh, fan service, but also at the same time, it's like just showing Darth Vader, was, which oh, like a lot of like the other things, like the comic books and whatever, they show him in that role. But it was really cool to see it in film. Yeah, like again, we we on like the drive home. We're like, if they were to make a fucking Darth Vader story, oh, yeah. story I an hour and a half with Darth Vader killing. Uh, I people. shit a fucking brick, dude. Yeah, <sighs> for yeah, the one story I would love to see them do is Vader between, really, you know, now between three and Rogue One because yeah, there's a like, lot yeah, of good stuff there because he's a really interesting character because he's struggling with being evil. Ooh, uh, I, I would I rather need, see I on a more them, comedic though. note. I want to see <laughs> an hour and a half adaptation movie of The Force Unleashed where we're just killing Wookies as Darth Vader. <laughs> Wait, but what about the scene Bad. from episode three that we don't get to see him killing the kids? We just see his cool I eyes like afterwards. Too. Dead kids. Okay. Again, I still like the idea of. So does he just like go in the room and just start swinging, or is he like doing what he did to the fucking rebels? Yeah, he's like, he's like pushing them into the walls and breaking yeah. their spines, I pushing wanna... them against ceilings and cutting them it's open. It's fucked, but I want to know how he killed those <laughs> kids. <laughs> he probably didn't even because... use his like lightsaber; just turned it off. You know, I'm gonna beat your ass with my hands. Yeah, He's like, did I'm he a- kill him like he did all those rebels? And you got or you got to remember he was more powerful. He didn't have a suit, yeah. So he could have been flying around and throwing those kids <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> doing the uh, He's like jumping off the walls, doing. Be- He's well, like, I guess He's like, I have the high ground now. Technically, those kids were drill. like younglings, so they had the force in them, so it'd be harder to throw them. Than yeah, just uh, rebels. How are you gonna repulse still- a master at that point? Exactly. You're just uh, a kid. Ex- you- he wasn't because no one would. Give yeah, he was, he was master oh, level. Yeah. That's why he was. That was part of the reason why he's pissed. He's like, I could be a master, okay. and he's like, he's no, master level. Like, Who cares about the title? Man, fuck you. You dude. can be on the council, but uh, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. You can be on the council, but you don't get master rank. But he's like, all right, fuck you. Yeah. So I don't know. I I love the way Rogue One ends and all that. Uh, so it, it, we we the, we, ha- we have to talk about the okay. other thing with the mil- uh the movie uh. CGI characters. Yeah, <gasps> animated Grand Moff Tarkin was kind of weird at first. 
but See, I got used I, to I it. I was watching the movie, and, you know, I, I'm watching, I'm like, oh, shit, like, I, I didn't read anything about this movie. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't same. do any, like, I went into this movie prior. Re- All I did was watch the major trailers on TV. Uh. And uh, <sighs> I go into this movie, and I wasn't expecting Tarkin at all. So I was like, whoa. Yeah, and no, because at first I was, like, I was like, oh, man, fucking Grandma Tarkin's here. How'd they get him? I was like, I thought he's been dead for a while. And by a while, I mean he died in 1994. Yeah. Holy fuck. I actually didn't know he was dead. So the first time I yeah. just thought he looked kind of <laughs> weird, I'm like, that's him. And I was like, he was, old as, like f- him. he was old as fuck in all the other movies, so he's probably dead now. Yeah, but... He's most definitely dead. Very, no, no, very, I've very always dead. said one of the best Star Wars characters was Tarkin. I always said, Star Wars needs uh, more Tarkin. And so you I got don't, it. Yeah, you got your you more Tarkin, it. dude. He's not just like a throwaway cameo in this movie. He's important to the film. I mean, he kind of drives you may fire Krennic yeah, to do... Uh, he advances the plot a lot. No, no. I, I love it. He could be fucking mean. Be like, so you I don't care like, that he wasn't real. As long as we get more Tarkin, I was happy. And I'm watching it, and I, I immediately noticed, I'm like, oh, he's CG. But then I didn't care. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. he was good CG. Yeah. And but then when good. they showed fucking... It was going to be a Roblox-level CG, just going to be, like, block Tarkin. What do you expect from a With AAA weird, production? The gross, like... <coughs> like the, you I may guess, fire. Nobody else... <laughs> <laughs> nobody plays Roblox, but when I was younger, I did. So they have, like, the Minecraft arms... <laughs> Yeah. You may fire when ready. But I played with my dick I when I was younger. That's what but I. But it, it's actually it was a big point of controversy in like the movie world of oh, was it okay to do that? Yes, it was. Yes. yes. The yes. Answer, de- okay. Yes. And super young Carrie Fisher that they put. Okay, like the Carrie Fisher one looked okay, really so good. Okay, so Tarkin, Tarkin looked great. I can't. I can't. Somebody Google uh, Tarkin's actual name because I can't remember. It's just Tarkin. Okay. It's like Christoph. Hold on. <laughs> That's his real okay, name. No, but long story short, I love the way that he looked. But they had, like, again, he was a part of the whole movie, so they had to, like, do a shitload of, like, graphing for him. But fucking Carrie Fisher, like, Princess Leia Carrie Fisher at the end looked fucking perfect. I didn't even notice that it was CGI for a while. Taking your stickers off? Yeah, you can kind of tell it's CGI because Carrie Fisher is old. Yeah, I know. Also ripped I know she's old, but she still looked good in The Force Awakens. No shit, it's Grand Moff Tarkin. I want to know the actor. Peter Cushing. Thank you, Peter Cushing. I know his name is Grand Moff Tarkin. Actually, he's Governor Tarkin in this movie because he hasn't been given the the thing of Grand Moff. When does he become Grand Moff? He becomes Grand Moff after he's like, "Hey, tell that other guy to fuck off. This is my Death Star now. You may fire when ready." (laughs) You mean when he nukes him, right? What does the title (laughs) Grand Moff mean? That mean I own the Death Star. (laughs) I think it's my Death Star. I I think it's I hold Vader's leash. Yeah, I'm Vader's daddy. Which, I'm Vader's dad. Yeah, he was. That's, don't say it. daddy. And also, it's pretty metal that uh, Darth Vader lives on Mustafar. He's Fucking like, Mustafar was, Lava Castle. I was burned up here, so I'm just going to live here now. Look, look down there. That's where my legs were. You think he has like 80s montage where he dances in the lava of Mustafar with 80s <laughs> rock no. music around? Of course. Remembering the good days when he used to have legs. And arms. And he cries himself to sleep, but it all evaporates because it's really hot down there. What do He's I... also in his tank, so I don't know if he can cry. Okay, okay, so Grand Moff is a title that is given to a regional governor of over sectors. And these sectors, also called, pr- call, also called priority sectors, were locations that were special interest to the emperor. And these include the imperial capital, Coruscant, and the Death Star. Oh, okay. So, in other words, Governor Mark II. Yeah, yeah. so it's like the level above governor. Okay. I always forget that the Coruscant is still the Imperial, like, uh, home world and capital. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They never croissant. talk about it at all in the original. I love croissant. It's not as I cool like as uh, <laughs> Vader's, uh, Vader's Sauron angst castle. That thing is fucking sick. I don't give a shit. Like, they, when they first show him, it's he's in the back of the tank. Yeah. And I'm like, ill. But at the same time, if you looked over at me in my seat, I'm sitting cross-legged, leaning forward, going, ee. Yeah, I was so excited. Vader's my cool. favorite fucking character. He's so fucking awesome. You did that a lot, and I did. Yes, I did do that a lot. I did. I guarantee. I Is Darth Vader the, the coolest movie. Sith? This could be an, another discussion. Uh, oh boy, that's a different this episode. Is, this is oh a fifth, no, th- that that would be I, a fifth. You guys, fight. you guys Have are you? like, you guys know a lot about Have Star Wars. The only thing I, I'm not a huge. I like Star Wars. I know a lot about the dark side. That's about it. That's the only things I looked into. And do you know the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Best Sith ever, Darth Plagueis. Next, yo, topic. Darth Plagueis. Yo, I was gonna give you this award real quick, but I gotta talk to you about these midichlorians. 
but I don't want to talk about midichlorians because I don't want a fucking scientific reason as to why the force works. I know. It just works because it just fuck works. You. Space it magic. Just, it just, it just yeah, works. it's space magic. Go fuck yourself. So okay, so let's talk. Like I think the characters in this movie are really awesome. Like, uh, Cassian's like a cool dude. Uh, Jen's a really like cool, you know, strong female protagonist. All I that like your description. Good stuff. They're just cool. This is cool. Yeah, but it, it's like sometimes Star Wars, especially in the prequels, just makes shitty dumb characters. Yeah, and that's that's what I liked about this movie and The Force Awakens, and especially I thought the acting in this movie was very oh, good, it was fucking awesome. And it wasn't. Oh no, they did I what they did what in The Force Awakens, where Joey, shut the fuck. Who do you think? Get all out. right, get the machete. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> don't give it to him this time, though. <laughs> I think uh, uh, I I like what this movie did, like The Force Awakens. It found kind of nobody actors to kind of yeah. play these yeah. main roles, and I I think that pays off. In huge amounts, I, think I I just think the performances what I also come out much more. Is, uh, it's like, oh, these char- these characters are awesome. These actors are fantastic. Don't get attached though; yeah. they all get vaporized. Yeah, this movie is pretty dark. Did anyone notice Fuck. how K two S O is like six characters? Dude, K two S O is the best fucking character ever. He's like a three P O, but he's better. He's than like a three P O, fucking several thousand times better because he's a sarcastic piece of shit. Yeah, oh, I but love like, him so much. I don't know. I thought the movie had a good balance between. Like humor, and because it's all dark, but the K two S O character was just enough kind of humor, not to be like whoa in your face, <laughs> wacky zany, but enough to be like okay, I don't want to kill Whistle, myself. For anything. So, well, so three PO humor, not Jar Jar humor. humor. Oh, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. less when yeah, we're watching the movie. Yeah. yeah. As soon as Star Wars comes into the picture, I go right back to being happy. <laughs> Other than that, I want to fucking die. God, and so then bright. they make you love these characters. They kill them all, and then for good measure, they nuke them. Yeah. At the end, you know, just to make yeah, sure they're just, double just dead. Just to make sure that you don't get fucking attached yeah. to them, we'll nuke them. <laughs> no, they're not coming back. They're fucking dead. Oh, they're nuked. Yeah, they're speaking dead. Speaking of they're fucking atoms now. Speaking of nuking, did anyone else really like the first time they fired the laser? Okay, the first time they fired the laser yeah, awesome. is, again, what I said I want as a background, where it's the Death Star eclipsing the sun and the fucking beam hitting the ground and the fucking mushroom cloud flying up. But my favorite part I was, came. hey... Yeah. Hey, all right, everybody, get ready to fire the laser. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. or no, because I was doing like when they when they were first firing it, I went, oh god, and I started doing like this weird like jerking off motion I do, and the guy in front of me turned around and looked at me, and I kept going, and I looked at him, Good. and he just kind of went, oh, and turned around. But, but like, I, I can only imagine making a Star Wars in 2016 must like making the movie must be difficult because. You're trying to recreate these like weird visions yeah. of seventies sci fi. Yeah. And like exactly. their seventies technology, like in today's movie. Like I when they were first booting up the Death Star like main screen. Yeah, it's like it comes it's in like all M- fuzzy. It's like MS DOS. And like all their binoculars always in Star Wars are all fuzzy and gross looking. Yeah. And it's like they do a really good job of keeping in the spirit of weird seventies sci fi. Yeah, well awesome, there's like awesome. a there's a huge following like on the internet for like retro futuristic stuff yeah. mostly from like the earlier stuff like the 30s through like the 50s but like they've got a lot of stuff there too so i mean there's a lot of people that might have some experience with that yeah or you just have the original people that made the movie cuz they're all still fucking alive that works that yeah. too so like i i see this movie and you see force awakens and it just makes you think like what do you think George Lucas is thinking? He's crying. Is, as he, is he crying? Is he happy? No, as he's giving over the fucking rights and signing it, he's just fucking weeping because he's like, I know. Well, he sold it. He know. Yeah, no, it's not like he got fucked. No, out but of no, him. but he's like, I know they're gonna make better movies than I did. I <laughs> uh, see. I think he didn't think that. I do. Because, really? I mean, I think he kind of like. I mean, because yeah, you're George Lucas. He's like, oh, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I created, um, I created Star Wars, and uh, there's no way you can do a better job than me. And they do, and he's like. <laughs> I think it's like one of those things where, you know, you raise your kid and you spend all this time raising your kid and then they and go and do something that impresses you, actually. And then they and go to college happy. and they get a good degree and you're proud of them. But you don't want them to surpass you, so... So you kill them like the true <laughs> Sith you are. Yeah. Then you have a battle. <laughs> <laughs> like how George... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> a true Sith would let, like, let them kill them if they overpower them. No, they don't let them. Well, they want the stronger line. They, if, they're not, exactly. if they're not as strong, they want the stronger one to succeed, so the Sith lasts. Okay, good point. Does anybody remember in episode three when George Wrong. Lucas offs his kid? Yeah. Yes. George Lucas does fuck kill Fuck your his kid, kid George movie. Lucas. He's a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't, no, I meant that entirely. Go fuck yourself. But, like, 
I don't know. It, it's weird to think that the best thing to happen to Star Wars was it was ripped away from its creator because it was given to JJ. And again, if he would have fucked, if he would have fucked this up, Jar Jar Abrams for the rest of his life. Jar Jar no. Yo, Jar Jar Abrams, twenty. We're we're on record. I I like Force Awakens. I mean, Fuck yeah! What, what, you guys liked it too. Yes, it was fantastic. Yes. Again, I I like it a lot. It gets some this, shit, and I can understand lightsaber. where it gets its shit. But I don't know. I still liked it a lot. I still like this lightsaber has been passed down, and it was used to kill thirty children, yeah. and cut the arms and legs off. Something that doesn't matter. We don't talk about that. No, 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 no. no. Remember, the, the good times. Remember, remember the good times. Remember the, remember the good stuff that remember happened. Remember when Luke had it? Oh, yeah, that was Luke. cool. Remember when? Remember when Anakin ended up dying because he was a good guy, and he still kind of came back in like the weird fucking like Force ghost, and Yoda's yeah. like, "What are you doing here?" I know, I know what you did. That doesn't make sense in the canon because no, it in doesn't. the Clone Wars, how Yoda figured out how to do that is very interesting. Go watch the Clone Wars, kiddos. It's pretty good. Well, you know, I watched the good... Clone Wars. Whole reason for this episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, sponsor. Uh, flash a sponsor. We're not that we don't flashing have. anything. I know. That well, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to keep yelling flash things. We're sponsored Joey by the one that's me. no longer going, by the way. Joey flash Rebels me. is the new one. Yeah, I haven't touched Rebels at all. I keep no, meaning me to because I want to see the Ahsoka stuff. But, uh, yeah. Any who's it's. Uh, oh my god, it was just it was good. It was fucking yeah, I, awesome. Yeah, I think Rogue One overall is just a really great movie. Fight sequence was fantastic. Yeah, gunfights were awesome. Everyone that I cared about dying was. Yeah, it's just really especially cool to see, crazy like, pirate guy, pilot guy who gets hentai fucked. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> when the, Rip when, the hentai monster when they get fucked with the laser. Who is it? Someone just goes, "Oh, the squid guy." <laughs> oh yeah, our, our one friend's like, "No, the hentai monster." <laughs> Don't look at the internet. Don't look at the internet. Don't look at the internet. I'm looking yeah. at it. You best fucking rule 34. Rule 34 Rogue One uh, Hentai Monster. What? That's got to be a thing. Because then, like, no, because it's Joey, like, oh, the only Hentai problem. Monster Rogue One. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I like how it's like, oh, it makes you go insane. And then it did. And then he goes, pilot, pilot, I'm I'm the pilot. And he comes back. I'm like, he's good. Wait, what? That, nah, he's good. He didn't really go insane. It makes you go insane. That's what, what's his face can we, said. Can we talk about how sad? I, I was kind of the only disappointment of this movie for me was that the death troopers and the shore troopers uh, were just there to make money. Uh, 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 yeah, they were the just, just there for saying? marketing reasons, pretty they much. They didn't do anything. I mean, cool. that's your Jango Fett, your Boba Fett, and your uh, don't you shit on my fucking Jango and Boba and your Fett. Your Phasma. Your Jango Fett is important. Okay, to the story. Phasma was fucking garbage. Phasma, yeah, Phas- Phasma's. Yeah. Is there a trash compactor? Can I watch her die at least? <laughs> like, <laughs> He's just shiny. What can I? Fuck. Should I get some <laughs> sans- uh, some gratification here? But like, they were what like, the fuck, don't blue balls me. They were like these ultimate warriors. Look at how cool these guys are, and then they die really shittily yeah that brings back the argument of armor and star wars yeah it's fucking stupid like doesn't work again my favorite thing is watching the blind dude beat the shit out of all the dudes fuck up their helmets yeah or when chewy and them go inside the guy's like hey and he gets shot and he flies back and his fucking chest armor blows up but the fuck is the point but see my theory is that the armor like when they get shot with the armor they can still be like recovered as opposed to if you get hit with bare skin you're just fucked you're dead. Or how would you make some good fucking armor that reflects it? It just looks good. Cool. Look Mirrors. Cool. Yeah. You're bringing up, like, the character, like, oh, they're alts, man, and they just die. Yeah, but it gives, like, the opportunity to make side that stories and other media power. of it. Like, sure, Django Fett just dies, but then he's, like, good story. You could write books about the fucker and sell those. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. a, but Django is. Fett's actually important because he's the clones. Because he's, yeah. Like, which Boba is, still is more of, like, very in the weird. original trilogy is, like, oh, uh, he's there. I like, cool. I like the idea of the clones who became the stormtroopers and they were actually good at what they did. Yeah. Instead of being like, blast them. Pew, pew, pew. And they miss everything. I'm like, fuck. Dude, but yeah, look I down the sights like, of the gun. Cool death. Do you hear, is there one audible word the death troopers say? No, it's, movie? All, <laughs> it's all <laughs> incoherent mumbling and it pisses me off. <laughs> They're the Peanuts parents from the <laughs> Peanuts <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, what the it, fuck are you very saying? Very interesting. But I thought the whole final battle on the Oh. Scarif planet was really neat. Mm. So good. It was so Space good. Vietnam. It, it was just really it neat. It was Space Vietnam. And then they the had, pilot- a, what, the M1 helmets on the yeah. whole time? Oh, Again, yeah. They were fucking Vietnam GIs in space. That's what the Rebels were, and it was fucking awesome. And they're like, all right, uh, everyone get down into this fucking hatch. All right, everyone get out. And they're all rolling out from underneath the fucking yeah. ship, taking cover. It, it was really putting cool. Putting bombs and shit. And then we had- They were the Viet Cong in this situation. And then the end space, like- <laughs> In this film and in The Force Awakens, it really makes me, like, my other idea for the Star Wars spinoff movie, if it wasn't a Vader film, I would love just an all, like, space combat 
film like Ooh. Ooh. Movie. Again, no, I want to see because like it looks so good. I want to see a good story of all like the different like literally like fucking gold leader, blue leader, red leader. Yeah. Fucking oh yeah. Red five, uh, you're stupid. They're photoshopped. I gotta lose in. them. No, come back. <laughs> Luke's gonna take your place. Good job. You deserve this. Photoshopped in <laughs> from the last Got movie. Game. Got game. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I th- the whole like, let's run this star destroyer and the other star destroyer was pretty cool looking. Again, that's why I named my car fucking Hammerhead. Because they're like, <laughs> yeah, hammer bring out the Hammerhead, cruiser. and it's like, what? And they turn off the fuck. They turn off one, and they like ram it into like one of like the little fucking like the corners, and they're like. Engage thrusters and these huge fucking thrusters come out of the yeah. back of this ship and they use it to like cut the top half off the other star yeah, destroyer. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and wouldn't it, was it just fucking metal? Wouldn't it have just you know like bumped it, like rammed it into the other? I didn't quite. No, because like there's so much thrust behind it that it, was it cleaves it. the other one in it half cl- and does nothing to the one that they're pushing. Yes, fuck you. All right, because <laughs> they were hitting one of the thin ass weak points, which was going into like the top of the bridge. Why don't sense. nails split when you put them in wood? Why does wood split when you put nails in them without drilling a hole? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was supporting yeah. your point. But I, I know. We but alluded no. to it earlier. I, we we no. got to talk about the last like five minutes of the movie. Oh, <laughs> my fucking God. A great God. shot of just darkness. I'm gonna and then a red the lightsaber turns ah! on. All right. And it's uh, it's pretty good. The most gratuitous scene in Star Wars history, but it works. Oh yeah, no, no, it, it's great. Okay, I think the only thing that I that I would think is more like gratuitous is um actually Anakin being cut in half, like his legs being cut off, and then him going killed those kids. I hate you, and he's on fire, and you're yeah. watching him. It's like, is Anakin okay? Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Where's Padme? Where's Padme? You killed her. No! Yeah, she didn't have to die. She was fine. Shut up. Yeah, no. We can bring you back with all of this Empire technology. Put new legs on you and shit. Oh, yeah, Padme. She died in childbirth. Yeah, no, she's done so. <laughs> she gave up. Too bad, too bad Darth Plagueis the Wise <laughs> wasn't alive. I'm telling you, man. He could have saved. Darth Plagueis is Anakin. Wrong. Well, no. Th- Darth no, Plagueis is right. the, the big theory behind the prequels Darth Plagueis is Darth that Plagueis. people think is alluded to when he tells them the story is that Darth Plagueis made Anakin because By Anakin doesn't have a dad. He could create Midichlorians. And the only person we know of in Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, but why doesn't Anakin war? look like a dumb Q-tip? Well, see, that's a good question. <laughs> because Midichlorians, bitch. Because yeah. he didn't have you to be a dumb Q-tip. He just had to be genetically <gasps> engineered. Are you a expert? I am oh, Darth Plagueis. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no. But the the end of Rogue One, I think, is a fantastic way to kind of end up the, end the movie. And then it's so dark, and then it ends on that hope, and then you go into a new hope, you know. So I don't know, a, a lot of fun. Hope. So we get two hopes? No, only no, because rebellions are built on hope. No, there's okay, only then. one hope because <laughs> the, the, hope one blew up the Death Star. Hope two <laughs> got annihilated on a beach by Remember, the Death Star. So there is no hope. Yeah. Did anyone else? Especially invaders, there there is no hope. Yeah. Did it bother anyone else that they kept going back to the Alliance base? Like they just kept going there and back and there, and it was like. They just kept flying. Around. Nobody yeah. follow you. Yeah, these spies that the Empire have fucking suck. Yeah, Dude. I I don't know. I didn't really think about that too too much. But I, I see what you're saying. But it's like, I don't know. Fucking fantastic movie. Great characters. I love them to death. All in all, pretty good. It was pretty. Hey, uh, it was pretty good. good. I give it a seven out of ten. It's kind of like the Star Wars movie you always Game wanted. 10 out of 10 best shit. Hey. But I never got until right now. Yeah. And it's not part of the. It's not like one of the actual main movies. I, I don't mean, think it matters though because it uh, makes the Star Wars movie better. Um, new that's why a uh, new it. round of movies. They're all the same except everybody's CGI. Oh, oh. why not Thank just make you. a cartoon at that point? No, no, because I want <laughs> no Roblox. Fucking what uh, computer is gonna handle this? Star CGI? Wars Episode <laughs> Eight is gonna look like Roblox. Uh, the Minecraft. unfinished Clone Wars episodes. Where they're just 3D models, just walk like T pose, T pose float. Yeah. <laughs> That would be that would be phenomenal. Yes, please. No, we got an uncanny valley. This shit, where everything's almost human, but you can tell it's not, so it's you're creepy. Like, uh, no, it's just it's that'd be funny though if you go to Disney and you're like, all right, I want two hundred million dollars to make this movie of guys flying around in T pose. <laughs> Do it now. And they're like, I, what? Oh, oh, if you'll fund it, okay. <laughs> two hundred million. That's a steal. I mean, fuck it. Okay. I don't even know how much it costs to make a triple A movie. A lot. Yeah. 
probably Star triple Wars, million. Rogue One was the 11th or 12th thousand uh, best million opening billion. weekend. Fuck yeah, it had dude. 155 million. It kicked ass. The best ever, uh, Force Awakens, 250 million. Uh, Fantastic. It's a lot of money. That's a fuck lot of money. Okay. So let's kind of wrap up there. I want to keep these podcasts a little on the shorter side. So we don't, easier for me. Yes, and so we easier don't keep for the audience. off track. Yeah. Like we always so do. So this podcast usually like. won't be all Star Wars themed, but, you know, we love Star Wars. Like it's no going to be a yearly thing for the next, like, five years. Yeah. So a like, very, I thought it'd be fun. A very Star Wars Christmas. It was a very Star Wars Christmas. Or okay. the last year, and, and then for the next seven. Star Wars Christmas special. We Where's that number remake, two. Disney? Where that at, Disney? Star Throw Wars, it on me. Star Wars Holiday Special 2. Uh, a very merry Kwanzaa to I get you, to, Chewbacca. I get, I get to watch uh, Chewbacca's weird fucking grandfather watch space porn. <laughs> if you kids haven't seen the fucking holiday no. special, don't. Find it. No, it's fucking horrible. Find it. Are those George cannon? Lucas himself said if he could find... George Lucas and fucking um, Harrison Ford said if they could find every fucking, like, VHS of that, they destroy it. Yeah. You can't. It's, it's on the fucking, internet. It's, it will know, never it's be canon. destroyed. It, no, I, fuck, no, I it's don't know if it's canon. considered canon. See, because didn't Disney say every like film work of Star Wars, like official oh, film work, after. was canon? Anything that happens Yeah, Disney after, remade uh, the canon, but... Uh, don't bring that up. Yeah. It's important. But any who's it's... No. Let's, uh, let's kind of wrap up here. Alright, so fucking the movie was fantastic. Don't was get pretty attached. Good. Everybody got vaporized. Yeah. Very upset, but again, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah, it's a great that movie. That leads to a new hope. And literally, the movie ends right where a new hope starts. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. You almost you have to watch Rogue One and then go watch a new hope. Yeah, because like it because it gives the movie a whole new meaning. Yeah, of like how intense the Death Star really yeah. is. So from a scale from uh Titanic to Squid Billies, how good was it? Fucking Squid Billies. I'm feeling a Squid Billies ah, on this one. I'm feeling Squid Billy. <laughs> Maybe an Aqua Teen <laughs> Hunger Force. Oh, that's close. Oh. <coughs> okay, the, so th- I want that to be the ending. Just Squid Billies. Oh All right. no. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next podcast. Hell yeah! After this, make sure to check out our next podcast, episode 42 of Books Cause Autism. Yes.